Hello students. Today we are going to solve a very good question from Mohar Circle. So for the question, you can look at the board. The question is, a cantilever beam is loaded with a uniformly distributed load of intensity W along its entire length. The span of the beam is L. There are four figures. Look at the figures. Which of the above Mohar Circle diagram correctly represents the state of stress above the neutral axis of the beam? Okay. So in this question, a cantilever beam is given which is subjected to uniformly distributed load and we are given with the few diagrams and out of these diagrams we have to find out which diagram correctly represents the state of stress of uh, any point above the neutral axis of the beam. So to solve this problem, first of all we need to draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for that particular case. Then we will analyze that beam because this is a very good question. This question to solve Kanibad, you can visualize that Okay, so this at this point, there uh, at this point of the beam, this is the types of stresses which are acting on the beam. So first of all, we are going to draw the SFD and BMD for that particular beam. Okay. So look at the beam. Okay. So in this question, a cantilever is cantilever beam is given, which is subjected to uniformly distributed load of intensity W newton per meter and the span of the beam is given as L. So L is the span of this beam. So just consider this point A, this point B. Now due to this uniformly distributed load, the net load will act at the center of the beam and that load will be WL. So WL, so the vertical reaction at this beam RA will be WL. Now due to this load WL which is acting at a distance of L by 2 from point A, WL square by 2 moment net moment on this beam is W square by 2 in clockwise direction so the moment reaction at point A will be the moment reaction at point A will be W L square by 2 so the moment reaction at point A will be W L into L by 2 so that will be W L square by 2 in anti clockwise direction now we are going to draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this particular beam so shear force diagram dekhte hai. that that is Okay, shear force diagram positive banega. So this is point A, this is point B. At point A, the value of shear force is WL in upward direction. So that is WL in upward direction. At point B, that will be zero. Okay. Since the loading is uniformly distributed load, so this will be linear. The shear force diagram will be linear. Now, the bending moment diagram between point A to B will be at point A the moment is the moment reaction is WL square by 2 in anti-clockwise direction so in BMD that will be negative bending moment diagram may negative a jayega. that will be WL square by 2 now from point A to B from point A to B first of all we will look at the shear force diagram that is positive that is SFD from point A to B the intensity of shear force diagram is decreasing so there will be so the slope of bending moment diagram will be decreasing slope so this is our decreasing slope okay so this is our bending moment diagram for this beam that is negative bending moment diagram now by seeing at the shear force diagram bending moment diagram yeah, bending moment diagram or shear force diagram they can bata sakte hain, that the critical cross section which cross section is the critical cross section so the cross section which is at the fixed end the cross section which is at the fixed end is the critical cross section the fixed end pe cross section hai yahi cross section hamara critical cross section hai critical cross section kyon hai kyunki at that cross section the value of shear force is maximum that is wl square by 2 and at that cross section the value of shear force is also maximum that is wl that is WL. So A point pe, ya hum bol sakte hai, jo point fixed end hai, to fixed point pe jo bhi cross section hai, that cross section is our critical cross section. Why critical cross section? Because the value of a bending moment and shear force both are maximum at that cross section. Okay. Now, ek chota sa assumption lete hai ispe. Assumption ye lete hai ki consider karte hai ki that beam is of rectangular cross section. Ek beam hai, is beam ko hum consider karte hai that this beam is a rectangular cross section beam. Okay. So this is the cross section. So let us assume that this is the cross section of this beam. And this is the neutral axis. Okay. Now, 
लुक एट द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम और बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम इज इन निगेटिव डायरेक्शन अगर हमारा बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम निगेटिव है विच मीन्स दिस बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू निगेटिव बेंडिंग दैट मीन्स हॉगिंग सो दिस इज अ केस ऑफ हॉगिंग बिकॉज इट इज निगेटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट विच इज हॉगिंग ओके सो और बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम इज निगेटिव इसका मतलब फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू बी द बेंडिंग मोमेंट इज निगेटिव दैट इज हॉगिंग बेंडिंग सो इन केस ऑफ हॉगिंग वॉट है टॉप फाइबर्स आर इन टेंशन एंड बॉटम फाइबर्स आर इन कंप्रेशन हॉगिंग का केस कैसा होता है इस तरीके से कुछ बेंडिंग होती है ऐसी बेंडिंग होती है ठीक है सो इन दिस बेंडिंग सो बेंडिंग कर विल बी लाइक दिस ओके सो हॉगिंग इन केस ऑफ हॉगिंग द बेंडिंग कर इज लाइक दिस ओके so we can say that the top five in case of hogging the top fibers are in tension and bottom fibers are in compression so now we are going to draw the bending stress distribution and shear stress distribution now we are going to draw the bending stress distribution and shear stress distribution so the top fibers which are in compression which are in tension in case of hogging top fibers are in tension so which is represented by arrow away from this cross section and the bottom fibers are in compression so that are represented by arrow towards the cross section so this is the bending stress distribution bending stress distribution so this is bending stress distribution which can be seen in the vertical plane isko hum vertical plane mein dekh sakte hain theek hai so this is bending stress distribution which can be seen in the vertical plane points consider kar lete hain that is point c that is point d and that is point e okay now this is the bending stress distribution now draw the shear stress distribution next step is to draw the shear stress distribution so for the rectangular cross section the shear stress distribution is given by parabola which is maximum at the neutral axis this is tau max this is point c this is point d and this is point e okay so this is the shear stress distribution so this is a shear stress distribution which can be seen in the profile plane now this is bending stress distribution this is shear stress distribution now the next step is to draw the state of stress is to draw the state of stress of point c and one more point that is point consider a point f consider a point f here also because in the question what is asked which of the following mohar circle represents the state of stress state of stress above the neutral axis so above the neutral axis consider two point why i am considering two point because one point is point c which is at the top fiber of the beam So, जो पॉइंट सी है वो टॉप फाइबर पे है इस पॉइंट सी पे सिर्फ बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस एक्ट कर रहा है इज ए नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस विच कैन बी सिग्मा वन सिग्मा वन बोल सकते हैं बट एट पॉइंट सी द वैल्यू ऑफ सी स्ट्रेस इज जीरो ओके सो ये इसकी वजह से एक स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ड्रॉ होगी इफ वी कंसिडर पॉइंट एफ पॉइंट एफ को एक ऐसा पॉइंट लेते हैं इन बिटवीन एनी वेयर इन बिटवीन पॉइंट सी एंड डी अगर यहां पर कंसिडर करते हैं पॉइंट को एफ को तो यहां पर बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस मान लेते हैं सिग्मा टू विच इज लेस देन सिग्मा वन ओके सिग्मा वन से कम होगा सिग्मा टू विच इज लेस देन सिग्मा वन सो हेयर ऑल्सो कंसिडर द सीयर स्ट्रेस टाउ टाउ इज दियर स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट ए नाउ लेट्स ड्रॉ द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट सी एंड एट पॉइंट एफ नाउ द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट सी दैट इज सिग्मा वन एंड सिग्मा वन नो सीयर स्ट्रेस इज देयर एट पॉइंट सी सी पॉइंट पे कोई भी सीयर स्ट्रेस नहीं हुआ क्योंकि सी पॉइंट पे सीयर स्ट्रेस पे यहाँ पे जीरो है नाउ ड्रॉ द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑफ पॉइंट एफ फॉर पॉइंट एफ फॉर पॉइंट एफ द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज सिग्मा टू विच इज लेस देन सिग्मा वन एंड देर विल बी ए सीयर स्ट्रेस ऑल्सो एक सीयर स्ट्रेस भी होगा एट पॉइंट एफ there will be normal stress as well as shear stress normal stress that is sigma 2 shear stress that is sigma so this is the state of stress for point f this is the state of stress for point c draw another state of stress for point d which is at the neutral axis jabki question humse nahi pucha gaya but fir bhi hum isko dekhenge and visualize karne ke liye kisi bhi beam ko so point d 
for point D, the value of normal stress is zero. For point D, the value of normal stress is zero. But for point D, the shear stress is maximum. That is tau. So at point D, the state of stress is like this tau max. This is also tau max. So for point D, we can see we can say that it is the pure shear state of stress. So we can also say that point D or any point on the neutral axis of the beam is subjected to pure shear state of stress because at the neutral axis bending stress will always be zero and shear stress will always be maximum or I can say maximum or non-zero that will be that depends upon the type of cross section but that's sure that the value of shear stress will be something that will be positive value at the neutral axis so the neutral axis of the beam is always subjected to pure shear state of stress now this is the state of stress of different frame points on the beam now we are going to draw the Mohr circuit Mohr circuit for this state of stress okay so for this state of stress that is for C state of stress consider two points for Mohr circuit that is point A and B point A which represents the state of stress on this phase that is sigma 1 comma 0 because on this phase no shear stress is there therefore 0 now the point B represents the state of stress on this phase that is 0 comma 0 because on this phase there is no normal stress and no shear stress so that will be 0 comma 0 so this is the state this is the Mohr circle for this state of stress where point A is sigma 1 comma 0 and point B is 0 comma 0 this axis represents the shear stress this axis represents the normal stress so i can say that this is the mohr circle this is the mohr circle of any point this is the mohr circle of any point on the top fiber on the top fiber of the beam so this mohr circle represents the represents a point which is on the top fiber of the beam किसी भी बीम इस बीम के किसी भी टॉप फाइबर पे कोई भी एक पॉइंट कंसीडर कर लीजिए सो दिस इज द मोहर सर्किल फॉर दैट पॉइंट व्हिच इज ऑन द टॉप फाइबर ऑफ द बीम नाउ फॉर पॉइंट एफ फॉर पॉइंट एफ द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस इज दिस नाउ टू ड्रॉ द मोहर सर्किल वी विल कंसीडर टू पॉइंट दैट इज पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट बी द पॉइंट ए विल बी सिग्मा 2 कॉमा टाउ Sigma 2 comma tau, sigma 2 that is normal stress, tau is the shear stress. For point B, consider the state of stress on this phase. On this phase, there is no normal stress. So that will be 0 comma minus tau. So by these two points, draw the Mohr circle. So that the Mohr circle for this state of stress, that is F. So this is point A that is sigma 2 comma tau this is point b that is 0 comma minus tau and this is the center of Mohr circle this is the Mohr circle so this Mohr circle this is the Mohr circle for for any point this is the Mohr circle for any point in between in between neutral axis in between neutral axis and top fiber of the P. So this Mohr circle represents the so this Mohr circle represents for the uh, this this is the Mohr circle for any point in between the neutral axis and the top fiber of the beam. Now for point D, for point D, the Mohr circle will be like this. For point D, the Mohr circle will be tau minus tau. This is sigma. This is minus sigma. This is the point A. This is point B. So this is the Mohr circle for point D, which is which is representing any point on the neutral axis of the beam. So this is Mohr circle. Mohr circle for any point. Mohr circle for any point on the 
न्यूट्रल एक्सिस ऑन द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस ऑफ द बीम सो दिस मोर सर्किल रिप्रेजेंट एनी पॉइंट ऑन द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस ऑफ द बीम सो इन द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज आर Which of the above Mohr circle diagram correctly represents the state of stress above the neutral axis of the beam? So these two points, point C and point F, these two points are above the neutral axis of the beam, and for these two diagrams, the state, the Mohr circle is this and this. So this is given in figure one in the question, figure one, and this Mohr circle is given as figure two in the question. So the correct answer is figure. One and two that is given in option C. So the correct answer is C. That is figure one and figure two. Okay. Thank you. Keep watching our videos.